Here we have two tins. Um, the volume of tin 1, called V1, we know is 400 milliliters. 400 milliliters is the same as 400 centimeters cubed. But we also know that if we're going to work out the volume of any tin, we can get that by the formula pi times the radius squared times height. So the volume of any tin equals pi r squared times h, which in this case we actually know ends up being 400 centimeters cubed. And this is really all we know about the first tin. We actually don't know the ratio of the radius or the height, um, so we can't actually get an exact value for h and r by itself. But we don't need it because the question is, what would the volume of the second tin be? Now, what we know about the second tin, that the volume 2 of the second tin is going to be using exactly the same formula. It's going to be pi times the radius of tin 2 squared multiplied by the height of tin 2. But we do know something about the radius and the height of tin 2. What we know is that the radius of the second tin is 1.2 times as large as the radius of the first tin, which we've called r. So we know that the second radius is 20% larger than the radius of the first tin. We also know that the height of the second tin is 1.2 times larger than the height of the first tin. So we now have a value for R2 and H2 in terms of the first tin. So let's just plug those values in here. Wherever we see R2, we replace it with 1.2 times R. So the volume will be pi times R2 squared, but we know that R2 is the same as 1.2 times R. But because it's R squared, we have to square the whole of this term. Multiplied by H2, whereas we know that H2 is the same as 1.2 times H, the first tin. So if we were to multiply all of these brackets out, then what would we get? Well, we'd get pi here. We'd get 1.2 squared. Now, 1.2 times 1.2 would be the same as um, 1.44. Think of 12 squared here being 144. 1.2 times 1.2 would give us 1.44 uh, multiplied by r squared. So instead of this term 1.2 r, all squared, we can write it as 1.44 times r squared, multiplied by 1.2 times h. If we just rearrange this a little bit, we find that we get pi times r squared times h, multiplied by 1.44 times 1.2. So this gives us pi r squared h, 1.44 times 1.2 is 1.2. 7, 2, 8. It's actually the same as 1.2 cubed. We've got 1.2 squared here multiplied by another factor of 1.2. So the ratio between the radius of the larger tin is 20% larger and the height of the new tin is 20% larger. But we actually know something. If we look at this term here now, we have a term here saying pi r squared h. The volume of the second tin is pi r squared h multiplied by a factor of 1.72. But we know that this term pi r squared h of the first tin, we actually have a value for that. We know that pi r squared of h for the first tin is actually 400 centimeters cubed. So we can actually put that value into our second equation. We know that this volume equals pi r squared h, which we have a value for 400 milliliters or 400 centimeters cubed, multiplied by a factor of 1.728. We can use our calculators there to get the answer here, 400 times 1.72, giving us an answer of 691.2 centimeters cubed. So we now have a value for the volume of the second tin in relation to the first tin. We're talking uh, about a small tin here, not probably, I mean they've given us that the first volume is in 400 
centimeters cubed, so only one significant figure here. So I'd probably say that the volume of this tin is approximately 700 centimeters cubed. Also just giving the answer here to one significant figure. So we've got the volume of the second tin is um, approximately 1.7 times larger than the volume of the first tin, giving us a volume of approximately 700 milliliters. And that's how we would do that type of question. We don't actually need to know the exact ratio of the radius, um, the exact value of the radius in relationship to the height. We just need to know that the radius and the height increase by a certain factor, and that factor is 1.2. And by doing that, we can work out the volume of the second tin. So, good luck with your calculating.